Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna do a kind of unboxing video and a review video on some products that I got from Give Me Glow uh, Cosmetics. So if you don't know what Give Me Glow is, it's basically a online um, cosmetics company. I think they're very relatively new. I think they're probably like a year old or so and they're based in America and they're more of like that indie brand however they have really really nice lipsticks and really good products and they have a huge following on instagram i've been following them for a while now and i've noticed that they're growing even bigger and they have international shipping so i took advantage of one of their sales recently and the day that they launched some of their full range so i decided to pick up a few things i've never bought from this brand before so this is going to be like a kind of first kind of thoughts and review for you guys i am wearing one of the lipsticks at the moment because i just could not i was so excited to open it I've, i think this took about a week to come to the uk and i was just so excited that i just had to get something so the color i have on at the moment is called dirty pumpkin which i think is my entire it, which is my favorite product from the entire collection that they've brought out so i absolutely love this shade um so yeah, I'm just going to dive straight in and show you what I got and my thoughts on it. So everything, I will just say the first thing that I thought when it arrived was I had to pay custom fees on this. Um, I had to pay £33 custom fees on this, which were, did make the product slightly more expensive to me. Obviously, if you live in America, you won't get this. Um, but bearing in mind that I'd paid probably about £30 worth of postage anyway, it did cost me like £60 to get this shipped over, which was not what I was expecting. However, they do state on the website that you could get customs charges and then they aren't, they're non, they don't like it. take that into thought and consideration. So yeah, do watch that out if you are ordering out of the US. Um, also, I will just say that the packaging that it came in, I am very disappointed in. I am one of those person that, I'm one of those people that get very nervous when I ship like eyeshadows, lipsticks, all that sort of stuff because I know that things can get broken. I've ordered things from ColourPop and they have just arrived smashed. I've ordered things from Jeffree Star, all of that and stuff has arrived broken. Um so I know what it's like getting stuff shipped over from America. It is very hit and miss whether or not stuff will arrive. And I know this is never the fault of the company itself. It's usually the a parcel company's fault however i do think that the companies do play a big part in how safe it is to ship so when i went and picked up the parcel from the post office i noticed immediately that the stuff in the box could just move around freely it was a big box and i've still got the box here now actually it was quite a big box like this bearing in mind i didn't actually order i didn't actually order that much of stuff but basically the whole box just came with a bit of this and then a small bit of bubble wrap. And I was kind of a bit, I was really hesitant when I opened this because I was just expecting something to be broke because everything was just wrapped very loosely and there was just nothing really holding it in place. So that's just something that I'm a bit, a bit annoyed about. But luckily everything did arrive in one piece. So so I'm just going to jump straight in to show you some of the products that I got. So the whole reason of me doing this purchase was because of their new full range. And they released boxes like this, um, which include 10 lipsticks. And they had a deal on where if you order 10 lipsticks and then you can get 30% off. So I ordered one of the pre-made sets. But if you do order 10 lipsticks, you can get they'll personalize it and put it in this box for you. I decided to go for their actual box and what the lipsticks they'd chosen for this collection. Um, I know they do have a few other ones that are just done individually, but I decided to buy the box just so and then I got a full kind of range. Um, so like I said about the packaging, the packaging did was very loose, so things could run around. So you can actually see on the box, there is actually damage from where it actually was roaming round and stuff which i'm not that happy with bearing in mind how much i did pay but um i guess it doesn't actually affect the products inside but i think yeah just packaging i think should be rethought out especially when shipping overseas 
but it comes in this really really gorgeous black box and it says give me glow cosmetics on it and then it's got the matte liquid lipsticks a collection on the front which is kind of embossed and then when you open it up it's got a metal fastening and then you have all the lipsticks at the front here um i think there's such a really good not nice color combination you've got kind of burgundies you've got oranges you've even got this really unique kind of greeny briny shade and then you've got a, like a typical nude shade but i really really like the colors that they did in this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and kind of swatch these all for you like i said i've already tried out dirty pumpkin on my lips and i really really like the formula um but i'm going to go through and see whether the formula is consistent throughout and then show you what i sort of think so the first shade i'm going to talk about is dirty pumpkin and this is almost like it's exactly what it kind of says on the tin it's almost that kind of mustardy orangey sort of shade um, but it's really really perfect for this time of year i absolutely love this color i think this is my favorite from the whole collection um what it does remind me of especially the um the packaging reminds me of the jeffree star liquid lipsticks it's got that same click um and very same similar packaging sort of formula um but it's got a flat flat applicator which is really easy to glide on and i found that i only had to use one coat of this i didn't have to dip back in at all so every the whole product that was already on the brush was the only thing that i used on my lips um it dries down fairly quickly i think it would dry within probably like a minute or two i don't think um it doesn't exactly transfer it does transfer slightly i'm not sure if you can see that but it does have like a very faded but then when you it does have a very faint um kind of outline on my hand it does have a faint thing and you can sort of see where little spots have come out but that just might be where my lips um are wet and stuff um but i really like this formula it almost seems very 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 similar to the jeffree star that's what i can almost make it a connection to um but i really really like this shade and i think this is perfect for a kind of fall um i haven't kind of tested out the longevity of this yet but i find that if you do rub it it does come off like it's not really like a true dry down matte but then you don't get the dryness from that either um so i've noticed that once it dries it does leave a very kind of light feeling on your lips um but then it doesn't have that true kind of staying power as some other lipsticks might have they do come off fairly easily um i mean not having to really really wipe it and work it off my lips so that sort of tells me that i won't like most likely get a lot of wear out of it i feel like this will easily come off when eating or drinking so i feel like i might have to apply it once or twice might zoom you in a little bit just so we can uh, get a better kind of feeling of what they're actually going to look like so yeah the next shade i'm going to talk about is hocus pocus so i'm going to try this one on now i haven't used this one as you can see like it glides on really really thickly there isn't much like streakiness it's really pigmented that's hocus pocus um it does look a bit kind of red at the moment that's just where i've wiped off um the previous color but i really really like this it does look a lot darker on than it does in the tube but i think that's just because of um different skin types so i feel like if you're slightly darker this might look a bit lighter on you but i really do like this it's almost it looks cooler it, no it looks a lot warmer in the um, packaging it looks a lot more pinky tone but it comes out a lot more comes out slightly browner i'd say when, when it's on i think it definitely looks a lot browner than in the tube i think they there is that slight there is that slight difference i'd say but i really really like this color i think this is very kind of a universal color i feel like this would look good on any skin tone but it's pretty much already dried down it does dry down pretty quickly but um yeah again sort of same lightweight feeling there's nothing really drying about this um you can see a lot of the lines and stuff in my lips i mean it any sort of matte liquid lipstick is going to do that but 
I do like this shade. I think this is very, very kind of one you could wear every single day. It's not going to be like kind of very in your face. I feel like this would be something that anyone could wear sort of throughout the day. So that one was Hocus Pocus. So the next sort of shades are getting slightly darker. So pumpkin, the Dirty Pumpkin and Hocus Pocus are sort of the more two lighter shades in the collection. But the next shade I'm going to talk about is called Halloween Orange and it's this really kind of vibrant neon orange um but i'm super excited about this this reminds me of proper kind of orange um halloween pumpkins and sweets and all that jazz but i really really like the shade and i'm excited to try this one on now again just using one swipe oh wow these do have a really really nice scent to them it's very sweet. It's very, very bright. <laughs> oh my God. This is so bright. This is incredibly bright. I feel like this is a very kind of corally, um, vibrant. I see it says Halloween orange, but I'd say this was like more of a very kind of true red, a very, very vibrant red. Um, it has got an undertone of kind of orange, but I'd say it was very, very red. Even far away, you can tell how bright this color is. It is super pigmented, still slightly drying down, um, but it feels really comfortable on the lips. Um, and this is just a really, really gorgeous, very vibrant, very in your face sort of red. If you like bright red lipsticks, then I definitely recommend trying this. It's very pigmented. It's just it's absolutely gorgeous. One thing I will say about these is you do have to mix them slightly when you get them. I've noticed quite a lot of these lipsticks have arrived kind of separated, um, but all you need to do is just mix it up in the tube. It doesn't come out kind of separated on your lips or anything, but that's just one thing to keep in mind. Then the next shade that I'm gonna go and try on is Rust Couture. Um, yeah, this one again has separated um but i'm just gonna mix it up i'm not sure if that's something to do with the formula but i've noticed a few lipsticks but this one's fully dried down now it does look a lot more orange once it's dried down it's not that really really as bright red it has it, you can see kind of the orange tint to it especially if you compare it to a red lipstick but i really really like this one i probably wouldn't wear this every day and like pumpkin and hocus pocus but I really, really like this shade. I feel like this would be really, really nice on like a night out or something. This would just be absolutely perfect. Um, I'm not sure if this one has dried down as quickly yet, but this one doesn't transfer as much as Dirty Pumpkin. I don't think it actually, trans it doesn't, there's no transfer at all. Um, so I really, really like this one. My lips are gonna kill me. After this, I'm gonna have to like exfoliate them and just treat them. I'm gonna have to pamper them after this. So see, this is slightly a darker sort of color. Um, this is more a kind of berry sort of, it's almost like a berry brown. Um, so it's gonna be a lot darker. Again, just one swipe is so pigmented. I feel like these aren't too liquidy. They have that kind of in between, so they're not extremely liquidy that you don't really have much control. But with the applicator, it really find it's really easy to just apply them, especially very. I wouldn't say that I'd need to go in much with concealer after this. I feel like this is very kind of neat, and anyone could sort of do this, especially if you're not used to kind of dark lipsticks. So that's Rust Couture. I really, really like this. Actually, it's a lot darker um, than what I normally go for, but I really, I'm really, really liking this shade, especially with my hair color at the moment. I think it really, really complements kind of that warm tones. But I feel like this again. There is a difference between what it looks like on and then what it looks like in the tube. I feel like they come across a lot more lighter in the tube, and then they're a lot more darker once on their lip. But I really, really like this colour. It was very easy to apply, which I know can be difficult with dark lipsticks sometimes. But I really, really like this. It was very easy to apply. It's not streaky. It's very, very pigmented. I really, really like this, actually. It's, it's very, very nice. Um, but So I haven't actually disliked any of the colours yet in this collection, so I'm really glad that I've actually picked this up. This is what Rust Couture looks like a bit further away. 
I do really, really like this. I'm not sure if it's, there is a tiny, tiny bit of, oh, you can see there of um, transfer, um, but I'm not sure if that's just because it hasn't fully dried down yet. Um, I do feel like this one is slightly more kind of creamy. Um, the other ones had a very thin consistency. This one's almost slightly more creamy than the others. Um, but it's very, very comfortable on the lip. I can't really tell that it's all, like I've got something on. Um, I think you just have to be very careful about smudging and then getting on your chin and stuff. I feel like it would easily transfer and kind of, yeah, it's very easy to just kind of wipe away. But even if you do wipe it away, it doesn't really take much off the lip. You just get a little bit on your finger. Um, nothing really kind of transfer. It doesn't, it doesn't end up looking patchy where other bits have come off or anything. But I feel like once you've eaten, when you're drinking and stuff, this one definitely, you definitely have to reapply afterwards. So next shade I'm going to try is called Haunted Forest. And that is the most unique shade in this collection. And it is almost like a kind of greeny... A dirty moss sort of shade. I'm so excited for this. I've not got anything like this in my collection. Um, the only other thing that I do have similar to this is the green lipstick. I can't remember what it's called now because I don't own it anymore. Um, the green lipstick from Jeffree Star. That's the only thing that I used to have similar to it. But this is a lot more of like that, the dirty sort of grungy sort of shade. Um, but I really, really excited to try this on. I don't feel like this would be something that I'd wear on a day to day basis, but for Halloween, this could be perfect. I'm really nervous about applying this because it's just so, oh, it's just so different. So weird and green, but we'll see what it looks like. It could look absolutely lovely, but I don't know. It looks very, very odd in the tube. It's very green, but we'll see. Oh my god. <sighs> wow, this is very interesting. I feel like this really washes me out. This makes me look so like vampire y. <laughs> oh my god. I look so like dead at the moment. But I kind of like it. I, it's really. It's really unusual. It's almost, I don't know. Again, this one isn't streaky. I find in their entire collection, none of these come across streaky. They're extremely pigmented. Yeah, I just really, really like, I, I kind of, it's very unusual. It's kind of different, obviously, because I've tried on nudes and I've tried on like other sort of shades, but I feel like this is kind of very different. So if you want to kind of have something that's a bit out there and a bit different, then I, I definitely go for this. Um, I feel like you could definitely get away with this more in this sort of year, um, this sort of time of year. But I really, I actually, it's growing on me, I think. I think it's definitely growing on me. I'm drying down very quick. Kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of bodged up the application around here. But it does make my teeth look slightly yellow. Um, that's the only thing I'd be slightly worried about wearing it. So we are about halfway through this video now. I can't believe how long this video is going to be. But the next shade is kind of more of a normal shade and this one is called Gloomy. This is a very kind of pinky sort of nude sort of shade, I'd say. This is a very kind of, you know, one you'd find a lot of brands doing. It's very kind of that sort of easy to kind of go-to sort of colour. So yes, yeah, so this shade is very kind of neutral. Um, it's very kind of like nudey sort of pinky shade. But this is very, it's almost like my lip colour, but darker. But this is all the sort of shade you can't really go wrong with. Um, I mean, it's very kind of, that sort of purpley, nudey. Um, it's almost got like a brown undertone to it as well. The more it dries, the darker it actually gets. Um, it's one of those ones as well that again, looks a lot darker on the skin than it does in the tube. I think that's just because I'm kind of pale. The next shade I'm going to try is called Chili, um, which is kind of an unusual name for kind of, for a very kind of purpley shade. I feel like that would be more, the name would be more suited to sort of a redder toned um, lipstick, but this is almost like the darker sister to the previous shade that I just showed you. Um, so, yeah, let's just try this one on. If 
that's this color i really really like it again not sure where the color the name comes from chili um i'd say this is definitely a more kind of purple based um kind of color um it's almost like a purple based brown if you know what i mean i really really like this though again very autumnal very kind of in at the moment i feel like she's nailed the color palette for autumn with this color range um but i really really like this um it, you do get you get 6.5 milliliters and they do expire in 12 months just so you, so that's sort of a standard um lipstick um expiry but i do this one's got more the thin consistency than com similar to the previous colors um i showed you at the beginning that's almost got the it's got the thin consistency i think this one has been the quickest to dry down and i feel like this is the one that feels the most drying so far the next shade is a shade that i'm really really excited for and that is called apple cinnamon it's very kind of much like a corally sort of red -y tone i feel like this has a lot of undertones to it it's almost like corally and red and pink at the same time but i'm super excited for this i absolutely love this shade it's almost it looks a lot more orange um than it does in the tube i'd say um but i really really like this it's a lot more kind of darker ready sort of tone ready orange um i wouldn't say as dark as uh, i wouldn't say as orange as dirty pumpkin but it's definitely kind of different to than in the tube i find that with all of these lipsticks that they are but i really like this again this one is a lot more creamy than the other tones i think this is the creamiest out of the lot so far um uh, and it definitely feels like that on the lips it's a little bit more heavier um you notice it a little bit more more tacky but i'm not sure if that's just because it hasn't dried down yet and i've got a bit on my teeth but i really really like this shade again this would be something that i could easily wear in the day it's not going to really bother me um but because of that creaminess it does make me worry slightly that you're going to be easily able to wipe it off and it won't have as long of a staying power i like a lot of lipsticks especially like the kat von d ones where they have a very long lasting staying power and they you know they're not really going to wipe off you know they're really not going to like they're not really going to budge um but saying that they feel comfortable on the lips um i feel like this one ha would have a lot of transfer yeah this one transfers absolutely loads yeah you can pretty much see all of the lipsticks there but it hasn't really it hasn't really um made that a problem with the lipstick it still looks fully pigmented it hasn't made it streaky or anything so it doesn't matter if a little bit comes off i feel like you're still going to get the full staying power and color that you did with your first application so the next shade that i'm going to put on my lips are looking very very sore for themselves at the moment they're starting to get really really sore so luckily we're on to the second to last shade in this collection and that is called miss september it is this very very bright um almost sort of berry sort of shade but purpley at the very same time i feel like this is going to be come out as like a really vibrant pink this is miss september it looks a lot it looks really like i've smudged it all over my face but that's just the redness um i like this shade um it's very kind of that shade that kind of changes in the light i feel like in this lighting because there's shadows and stuff it looks a lot darker than it does but then once you're out in kind of like natural lighting i feel like you'd see the more pinky purple sort of tones to it but i like this shade it's I feel like it doesn't exactly go with my hair at the moment because it's contrasting with sort of like orangey kind of like salmony sort of tones to it but i do like this would this is the sort of shade that would be perfect for every sort of type of skin tone so now we're moving on to the last and the darkest shade in the collection and that is called bewitched i feel like this has been perfectly named um this is almost like a dark grayish purple i really really am excited for this shade and hopefully it doesn't wash me out too much so 
this is bewitched i've got lipstick all over my teeth but yeah this came out i think this is such a nice color always like yeah it's a very a very dark kind of purple toned lipstick perfect for halloween it's almost black um in certain lights it does look very black um i really 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 like this color it's very dark very grungy it doesn't make my teeth look very yellow at all um which i appreciate it's just a shame my lips are so red around the eight side it doesn't really look me it doesn't do it justice but i really really like this color um being the darkest in the collection even though i like dark lipsticks i feel like i wouldn't get as much of use out of this as i would with some of the other colors just because i'm kind of a bit afraid of dark lipsticks um and like the mess that they, they can cause but i do really really like the color of this i haven't really seen something like this out there i've seen very dark bl um dark blues i've seen very dark reds dark um pinks and stuff but i've never seen a really really dark purple done this well so if you are on the hunt for a really dark purple then i'd recommend this so guys that's everything from the give me glow collection i've swatched them all for you so i hope that'll give you a good idea of what they're like my lips are very sore and very red at the moment so i'm gonna go and give them a break and pamper them with lots of lip balm and just hopefully let them just rest for a bit um but i really really like this collection i feel like they've done a very good selection of colors especially with that really unique green shade i really really like that it's a very kind of dirty almost mossy sort of shade very they've captured four in um a collection of lipsticks i really really like this collection it is still available on the website i will leave the link down below if you are interested in getting this like i said you can also include 10 of your own lipsticks in this collection so if you liked some uh, some lipsticks more than others then you can create your own box and i will also leave her instagram down in the description bar below just because she always posts um like things like updates and when things are going to be restocked that's the only thing that i did find about the website that was kind of annoying was a lot of the products were out of stock um but she are, she is a sort of one person sort of brand and i appreciate that she can't always produce as much products as bigger the brands can but i really really like this collection i'm glad i picked it up even if the postage was kind of ridiculous but thank you guys for watching um i will leave a link to all the lipsticks that i mentioned down below including this gift set as well so i hope you liked this video um i hope you have a lovely day guys and thank you so much for watching bye